fella. And we're going to be carrying on with washes now. Um, as I said, we're going to be doing a lot of browns, reddish browns, that kind of thing. Um, but first, as you can see, I've gone over the hair and the shirt again. I've done two coats on these shirts, one coat uh, and three coats on the hair. Because I want to make sure the hair is completely white, whereas the shirt it doesn't make any difference at the moment. So, what we're going to be doing first off is using... When I can find it, don't want that one, don't want that one. Here we go. For the shirt, we're going to be using known oil. In fact, no, we're not. No, we're not. Change your mind. We're going to be using Drakenhof Nightshade. So, oops, give it a shake first of all. So this is going on the on the shirt. We don't want too much on it. And we'll just go over. Completely off, making sure that. We have it covering the shirts completely because we don't want it to look white. And there will be areas where we're going to be going over again with other colours, but we want to make sure that there's no white showing at all. going on his face but never mind have some okay so that's that. I'm just going to keep my brush damp and go over okay see I've got the blue trying to get as much off as I can that's fine next we're going to be using Drakenhof I can have my shade. No, we're not. We're going to be using Brightland Brush Brush Shade. And this is going to be going over the hair and the face. I was going to use brown for the hair, but I thought, no, it's a kind of reddish colour without using red. I also wants to dis dis differentiate it between the clothing because that's going to be done in a second. Using our old faithful Agrax Earthshade, which is my colour. Don't shake the pots. It might be washes, but still sediment in the bottom that settles. It still settles at the bottom. I want to make sure it doesn't. And that's why. We, um, we shake the pots all the time. And I'm just going to slap this paint on completely. And again, start doing these videos, I get an itchy nose. You want it all, as I say, all over everywhere that is brown. If 
it goes into any of the um, all the colours don't worry too much about it it will just add that extra level of shadow we also want to go over the owl with this as well we will be highlighting the owl later on And just watch out for it pooling, you don't want it pooling everywhere. There we go. And that, and let me see, is it for the wash? Now we can't do anything more with this until it's dried, so let's uh, come back to this when it's had time to dry. Well, 14 minutes or so. Okay, see you shortly. <clears throat> right, well, what we have done, seeing as I forgot to press the camera buttons, is I got some. Um, so, I've not been recording unfortunately for this part. But what I did was I got some Screaming Skull, which is this one. Put it on our pallet there. I mix a little bit of the Screaming Skull in with Calador Sky to make a slightly paler colour and just went over the top of the um, sleeves there. Then using a little bit of Emperor's Children, I've coloured in what I think is his tongue, or what I'm looking at is his tongue. I've also used the Calador Sky on his eye there, and I've dry brushed over his hair with white. That is all I've done before I realised that I wasn't recording. So, <laughs> I do apologise for that. Yes, I'm an idiot. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What I want to do next, however, is going back to the... Um, what colour was it? Uh, this colour here, which one was it? I think it was the... Um, oh dear lord, what was it? Scrag Brown, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a Scrag Brown. We're going to use a little bit more of that. And a little bit on the brush and then add a touch of Screaming Skull just to make it a little bit paler and then we can go in here looking at all the high points of this mini. Now, I know I have said that I'm not really fussed about making this um, what you call it uh, do get an awesome paint job on this because of the type of uh, miniature it is but I'm going to try and do as good a job as I can Saying that, I've got a funny feeling now. I said that while I wasn't recording, so ignore everything I've just said. Let me just run a little bit of this pale colour. All the bits there. Um, they're going to be, shall we say, picking up the light. There we are. And I 
that and we also want it going on the and the and then on this little strap here there we are I think that really is it for this colour next what we're going to be doing is highlighting the overalls which was done in the Bellow Brown. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that Bellow Brown. It doesn't need a really bright highlight. So um, I'm just going to touch here and the I'm trying to work out whether I've actually missed so missed a bit there or not. It's just a shadow for me. I think what I'm going to do as well is using that mix that we've just used for the overalls. There are some straps here on his legs. I think we're going to use a little bit of that on there like so and there as well and on this pouch we're going to add a touch of the scrub brown To the sides of this. Okay, and now we'll do the same thing over here. I need a decent points on my brush for that. And just in case you don't know, there is a way of getting a good point on your brushes, and that is as you're loading your brush spin the brush in your fingers so you'll see me doing that so that's how you get your point just twist your brush and you spin in the in your fingers and then that stands out to his belt in this colour as well doing the entire belt I'll come back in a bit and do the metallic areas next we have um, the um, boots which were if I remember rightly this mix and for this it's just going to be a quick Almost a dry brush. I can't believe it's August and we've got fireworks going off. There we go. And that's enough for that. Oops. I'm going to take a little bit off camera then. So, 
not doing too well with this one. <laughs> um, I'm going to add a touch more of the Ballor Brown. There isn't much of this left. I'm just add a little bit more around. Here. And here. There we are. Next. What we want is the... Um, a little rabbit thing. I don't know. I think we did that in this colour. I'm not going mad with this. I'm just running the paint over. Picking out details. There we are. Can do is add a little bit of screaming skull into that mix. Just to change the tone down again, and now we can go in and add further bits of highlighting. It need to uh, think. It needs. So, and that is it. It's not a very, even though it's a nice little figure, there's not a lot of detail to go into this. As you can see, it looks almost fine as it is, but almost isn't. Right, yeah, it's because what we're going to be doing now is just adding a little bit of finishing touches. It's the metal pairs that we need to do now. First off, Auric Armour Gold. Using that, and we're going to be adding this as near to a dry brushing as we possibly can. And that is going to be going over. the top of the owl then we're going to be using it for and his eyepiece that little metal piece there and we can also use it on this buckle and the knobbly bits on his tool pack as well. There we are. And there he is. Very nearly completed. Except for... <coughs> Iron Breaker. This iron breaker is going to be going on to a couple of parts. Firstly, the lens. And secondly, picking out the detail on the face of the owl. And I think actually, I don't like the look of that being gold colour. So I'm going to change that belt buckle to the. I'm going to change the knobbly bits on his two pouches. I 
and that. Is that. So the next thing we need to do is using our it's okay, it's okay. Our little palette and our PVA and our little scraggy brush. We're going to be Covering the entire base with PVA, ready for dunking it in sand. I'm going to do this in the finer sand. I'm not going to be putting a lot of the, you know, the, the big, bigger versions of sand in this. I don't want it to um, really different. Rather, there will be a, a few of the big pieces in here, but not. Hopefully, not a lot of them because that's not the effect I want on this particular model. So I'll just shift my glasses case and the dead grass. I'll shift that out of the way. I'll bring out the sand. And as you can see, there's a little bit here. Just dump it in and then you take it out and shake it off. As I said, that is fine for this. So one or two little pieces of one or two pieces of the big old stuff is fine. Um, I may go over once it's dried um, because it's incredibly fine sand. This one, I may go over it once again and put another coating of the sand on it. I can only do that once the first layer has dried, um, so I will do that off camera. And then the next part is painting the base, or painting around the base, and not painting around the base, painting the sand, and then adding the grass. So that is the tinkerer almost complete. Okay, here we are again with this little fella, and uh, as you can see, he's had his sand. Uh, second coat of the sand put on and also um, the first coat the first coat the um, the base coat for the uh, of the um, steel legion drab I've just noticed I've missed a little bit so I'm just going to add a touch to where I've missed which is just here And there we are. Now what I want to do is uh, highlight the um, the base and for that as usual we're going to be using Screaming Skull. And it's going to be just basically as you all know. Dry brush on very lightly. Like so. You can, if you want, go a little bit heavier on the bigger pieces because they're going to uh, get more. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more light, but I'm not going to be bothered with these minis. So as I said, they're just they're not for really for display. They're just for gaming figures, and that's that. Now, again, 
I'm going to be going over to our PVA um, short little scabby brush that you've seen a few times before. I'll just apply the PVA first of all and you can see where I'm putting it again. I'm going to bring it close up to the camera so you can see properly. Um, as I hope you can see we're not going everywhere, we're just putting it around the um, what do you call it? Around the larger of the stones. I mean, I suppose technically speaking, this guy will be inside, but I want to tie him in with all the other um, what do we call it? Characters. Now, for this one, because he's of good alignment, as you can see at the bottom there. We will be using the lighter of the green static grasses. Oops, excuse me a second. Which is a bit more colourful. And we do as we have done before. We get the grass, no, we get the model into the static grass and leave it for a couple of seconds. You can see it's almost swamped in there. Whee! It's snowing grass. <laughs> it's me being silly again. There we are. Now take him out and give the base a flick. And there you are. The reason I'm showing how to do the three different ones is so I can show you in a second how different they look. Now bear in mind this is going to be a little bit brighter than you will think. But I just want to paint over the um, edges once again. It's had one coat, but I'm going like to add two, just so you can see properly what's happening. Okay, I'm sure I've used this colour on the bases. I've done all this on these three in the Rhinox side without having checked the uh, the older, or the not the older, but the. Um, the characters that I've already painted, so I may have to come back and redo around the edges with a different colour of paint, but that's not a problem. So I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. Won't be a second. Okay, I want to. There we are. So I've zoomed in a little bit, so now you can see the green grass there, as opposed to the neutral grass, or neutral alignment grass that is on the um, element, element list, and the dead grass, which is on the um, bounty hunter. So just looking there now, you can see why I'm putting the three different grasses on. So you can automatically see which of the three is good, neutral and evil. But again, that doesn't mean anything at all if your character has changed. That's your basic starting character trait. Um, obviously, if your character changes traits during the course of the game, then um, you'd have your little token to say that you've changed alignment spots like a card. Um, so uh, there we are. So they're the, the way I've been painting these models. Now when I go further on doing these I'm not bothered showing you how I've done the bases but with these three I've wanted to show you how I've done the bases so that you can see the difference and I know I covered this in um, the video where I had a look at the, um, the different models 
it's an earlier video, I'll put a link in the uh, description box for that one. But um, it's uh, it's just a way for me to see which is which, um, so I can sort them out a little better if I need to separate them all, which I probably will do in a bit because um, the tub that I have, or the, the container that I have all my models in, it's getting a tad small now. I'm running out of space in it, so I'm going to have to get another one. So I'll probably separate um, the models out into the three alignments. So um, there we are. That's it for another series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, so far we've done... And these are all from the City expansion. This is your Bounty Hunter. I'll just move this one on the back. Not move it from out the back, but I'll move it from. Are we going to focus on this? So there we have the bounty hunter. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but somebody hopefully might be able to tell me. And then we have our elementalist. Not too happy with the eyes, but as I say, it's very limited sculpting on that one. Or just hasn't, or very limited detail. And finally, we have our tinkerer. I mean, if you wanted to, you could always go over the face of this owl in, uh, what do you call it, um, Agrax Earthshade, just to bring out the detail a little more. Um, I don't really want to do anything more to that lens. Have me. Um, cause I think that looks okay as is. Oops, just slightly off camera. So, there we are. Those are three, first three from the city um, expansion done and dusted. I hope you've enjoyed these three videos. Stay tuned for more. And uh, I'll see you next time. So, until then. Take care, God bless, and bye for now.